Okay, let's take all of his metal. Um, let's go ahead and get give him this shiny stone as well. drop the rest of our nails we use quite a lot that night and I'll hold this wood on um, on us right now for a while actually probably get Molotov cocktail we'll find the last shot of his gun if we really need to we now can upgrade the, the shop let's go ahead and do that um, and this will allow us to make some armor out of those uh, scales from the bugs that we've been killing so let's also go ahead and do that I think that'll be really useful I don't know if we just have it in our inventory, if that's... Oh, we actually have to have it equipped. Okay. That's fine. That's why we got the fourth slot. Anyway, so it's fine. If we buy, if we buy another folded cloth from him for 450, we can actually get another slot as well. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break while the time is uh, frozen and I'm gonna go grab some more water. I'll be right back. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, lucky days 13, yeah, right? That's like, um, <laughs> that's like uh, the evil within coming out on Friday the 13th in October. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably die the night we play it, but Prepare for some surprises tonight. Damn right. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm gonna go refill my water. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, if you did do something super cool today, you can go ahead and write it in chat. I guess Max's was that he listened to Hitler speeches. But if, if there was anything else, let me know. I'll be right back. All right. Lucky day 13. Cheers, got some more water. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. <sighs> um, I really, really wish we could repair this. Let's make another Molotov cocktail. Uh, we should make another bandage as well, I think. Since we're out of other healing materials. We've been relying pretty much only on um, pills up until now, but we're finally out. Okay, so <sighs> if you're interested, this is the pig barn, the pig shed where we killed the giant deity thing. This is uh, Piatrek's house, but we're gonna go help him finish building his rocket ship. This is the wolf's camp. Um, and then this is the road to the village. To make the game seem less serious. Yeah, I agree. But I mean, in the first game, they do make a lot of sarcastic kind of, um, like, dumb American comments that are pretty interesting. But I agree, it does seem- they have this kind of, like, dark, depressing, um, atmosphere of, like, the oppressed people who are trying to fight back. And I'm pretty sure they'll they'll keep that. But the game will definitely be different because it is set in the United States. It's not set in Germany or uh, the, in, in Europe. Okay. So right now we're going to go to Piatrex. We're going to go to talk to the wolf real quick since it's right next to it. We might as well. Then we're going to come back here. We're going to go through the hole. And we're going to... Go back down the well. With full health and try to not die. 
Let's do that. Okay. Let's go. We're all also on the way to Piatrex. We're gonna try and find as much scrap metal as possible because we're really running low on scrap metal. It takes about three scrap metal to build one trap, and so we only, since we only have four, that's drastically too little. I think that Wolfenstein 2 will be as good as the first game. I think it will be as good as the first game, and I think it will probably be better than Old Blood. I would guess. Like that suicide, but oh my gosh! That was crazy! That blew my mind! That was insane! I was not expecting that, like, at all. Like, I was completely not expecting that to happen in... And just all of a sudden he's like, this is my next stop, and he just drives off. It's freaking awful. So this is the kid who wants us to find the key. Let's see where is he out is he out behind this or is he actually in the silo? He must be actually in the silo. Let's go say hi real quick. Before we continue on. This is the creepiest music. There he is, hey. Oh, oh, it's not even a kid. Oh, oh, it is a kid. The boy stops playing and lowers his head, avoiding my sight. No wonder the villagers hate him. Look at this mask, this cute little mask. Oh god. That's adorable. So the doctor actually made him this mask. Show item. So pretty. Could could I hold it for a wee moment? The boy clumsily turns a small item in his overgrown hand. My, my mom likes these. What where did you buy it? If if I were big and had the money, I would buy more of these and m maybe she would stop being angry at me. Ew. But I think we've shown him. Yeah, okay, let's gossip. I saw the villagers dragging a cart with a dead sow, the one they call the mother of all pigs. It wasn't as beautiful as they said, and nowhere near the pretty lady. So the pretty lady is who he wants the key to get into the pretty lady's room. The boy drops his gaze. And that p piggy it was a bit smaller to me. The boy snibbles and rubs the mask with his deformed hand. Oh, Jesus. No wonder he... Look at his violin. No wonder it plays so poorly. It's kind of beaten up a little bit. Um, ugh. He is dude, nasty looking. Um, it was a bit sm... Oh, it was a bit similar. I, I read smaller for some reason. It's a bit similar to me. Huh. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because they're the same type of creation, I believe. Like this deformed monster kind of deal. The villagers have been crying after her a lot. As I'm trying to cut through the wall of the trees. Do you think it's even possible, mister? We've already read this. Okay, cool. So he wants the key. Really badly. So he can get into the pretty lady's house. And so does the wolf. 
Ah, oh, our armor is, our, is is broken down a little bit already. Okay. That's good to know, at least. Oh, we need to go back through, though. The characters in this game are actually wonderful. Oh, we really need to be keeping our eyes out for traps as well while we're here. Because we need that metal. Oh boy, do we need that metal. Really badly. So tonight we need to make at least two traps. Whereas in previous nights we've only needed to make one usually. Oh, there's a dog. Let's try and avoid him. Oh, the savages, they're getting smarter. What are they doing in there? This one's like watching something. That one didn't even leave when I came in here. That's super weird. Oh, they're making savages. Holy shit, there's a dead body. That's, a uh, creepy as hell. Where are we on the map? Dove doesn't even react except from prologue when he says something about another dead kid. Yep, 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 yep. I agree, it's a very, de it's a very depressing game in gym. God, they're totally making other savages. This is the second one of these crosses we found. Must be like their religion. Yeah, and this one's like... Is he trying to dig his way out? I feel like we should kill it. Yeah, he was trying to dig his way out of the hole. So they're burying people and making new ones. That's disgusting. Hello! What's up, Jasper? How are you doing today? Um... Yeah, I agree it's, it's depressing. But it also has these, like, nice, like, quirky moments of just goofiness, almost. Especially the current game we're playing uh the new order so this is the this is the rocket ship P pietrex building as you can see he's a great mechanic um he has almost fully formed the rocket ship oh shit. um let's try and burn this stuff with our torch real quick Huh, nothing in there. Alright. Some wood. I bet he's from NASA. Hey Max, isn't it kind of late? Jasper, it is always kind of late. <laughs> where, where Max is. <laughs> Alright, let's replace that. Let's look and see if there's any more metal in here, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Max is immortal. Max does not need sleep. Uh, we don't have any room for this battery. I think if we use the bat- I think we can actually finally use the batteries, um, to charge- Hey! Ethan, what's up? I think we can finally use the batteries to charge our flashlight. Alright, let's show- this should be the last item he needs. Steering wheel. Trajectory guidance system! Yay, finally, I have everything I need. Go your way now, go now, please! I need to install these parts in my beautiful rocket, and then- Wow, he just gave us a shit ton of stuff. 
and then we, off I go. I will wave to you when I'm on my way to where no man has ever been before. He seems smart, yeah, he, um... Let's show him this picture of the doctor. Beautiful. But I don't see Gagarin in it. I have never seen a photo without Gagarin in it before. That's weird. Gagarin was this astronaut. Gagarin? A man who flew to the stars. I'll reach the stars too one day. Beatrix stares, stares at a blank spot for a few seconds. Maybe tomorrow, for example. I just need to find the screw for the cover. All right. So this apparently is another way to get a, a get another welder's, uh, whatever. It's called. I believe that's all we got from him. Oh, and we got a shiny stone. So we can actually let's trade with him real quick. So if we trade with him, we can get. Uh, he's actually not trading any more scrap metal, which kind of sucks. Okay, we'll hold on to what we have so far. It's the first man in space. Do references. Ah, I see, I got you. Max, you genius, you. I was wondering who that who that was. All right, let's talk to the wolf real quick and try not to smack him. Yes, meat. Uh, photo doctor. Well, well, I know this quack. A non-entity, a third-rate witch doctor. Useless effing clunker. But he still managed to screw you over with that key, eh, comrade? Comrade. Yes, yeah, so he has our key, which we believe is the way out. Okay, that should be it. Um, well, actually, let's see what he has to trade real quick. No meat either. I mean, no. He has meat. He just doesn't have any scrap metal, which is really what we need. So I, I believe we can now upgrade our table again um, using this second welder that we just got. So let's head back again looking for some more scrap metal. Oh. Don't, definitely want to stay away from the deer. Oh, there's a bear trap! Hell yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's dump some stuff. Um, <laughs> what's dumb? Oh, he gave us weapon parts too? Holy shit. Okay, that's amazing. We can make our shotgun with that. Uh, let's dump this wire. Actually, we should have given the wire to Piatrek, but... Let's go ahead and take this. What's up? Not much. I'm looking at a person playing a game and talking to his PC. How are you? I am looking at... I am playing a game and talking to my PC. That's so... That's so strange that you say that. I'm doing almost the exact same thing that you say you're looking at somebody doing. I'm also deeply enjoying this game. It is a hell of a ride so far. Super weird and trippy, but awesome. Alright. So we're gonna go back and try not to die. Cause we are, again, like I said, on our last life. And then we're going to... I think you mean Kipo. <laughs> no, Jasper, I think you mean Kipo. Ooh, that's dark. Oh, no, poison, stop. All right, this should be, yeah, okay, this is the silo. So we're gonna go underneath the silo. <laughs> you always mean Kipo. Gosh, this guy, Jasper, did you see, did you see this guy? The kid that lives in here? He is so creepy. Probably the creepiest looking character in the game so far, actually. Oh wow, it's starting to get really late. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and 
head into the next village now. Before it gets too dark. So we're gonna go ahead and um, cut some more boards uh, with what's left of our gas. We're gonna put these uh, parts up. Uh, we actually could repair this wardrobe if we wanted to, I think. Put these parts up, this, these spare parts, the metal. Uh, now we can make two bear traps tonight. Uh, oh, actually, we, we can't use this welder, so let's, let's just store it for now. We can get rid of it later if we want, or we can sell it. Looks like we actually need uh, pliers or some type of wire cutters or clamps or something to upgrade again. Uh, let's put this shiny stone up. We can sell that later. We're going to take the shovel with us. Alright, I think that's all we're going to take. Oh, actually, let's put all our cloth up. Because we usually find a lot of cloth. I did. I wouldn't call him a kid, though. He It says the boy, the small child. And everyone else refers, refers to him as a child as well. But I don't know. I'm just doing what the game tells me. Alright, let's grab our gas. Oh, let's store our weapon parts as well. Looks like we should be able to make this shotgun. Oh, actually we can. But we can make the pipe shotgun. We need to find a barrel somewhere. I bet the wolf sells the barrel. Alright, we made nine more boards, and then, well, uh, let's... Let's just dump the ro oh, we forgot to actually, we forgot to turn the generator off. So we wasted about, about one day's worth of gas, which is fairly unfortunate. That's okay. So now we can make an exploding barrel. That's pretty damn cool. We can also make an axe, which we will be doing. I think we're gonna get the axe blade from the guy. Hmm. And we actually have enough to make one more um, shot. I mean, a single shot shotgun, which we might actually just go ahead and do that. Because we have three pipes. I don't know. If we find more metal when we go to the village this time, we will do it. Otherwise, we're gonna... Actually, let's keep one board on us. Okay, I'll go to sleep now. See ya. See ya, Max. Have a wonderful day and good luck out there in the real world. Until tomorrow, I hope you get lots and lots of sleep. Uh, we will be back at 6.30 p.m. EDT tomorrow. Um, actually, no, we won't be back tomorrow. Don't come back tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday, which is the weekly day off. Um, so I will see you for probably more of this game and maybe a little bit of Evil Within on Thursday. See you then. Plus, 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 plus. Symbol spamming. <laughs> Good night. All right. Oh, let's drink from the well real quick before we leave. And let's go through this extremely convenient hole that some good friend dug for us and go to the frozen time zone area. So it is currently um, where are we going? Oh, we're going down the well. It's currently five o'clock, so that means I think we have about two or three hours until it gets to be full darkness. But fortunately for us, time is frozen down here, so. Can't remember my own triangle. Bye. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Damn right, though. I am busy, busy, busy. Alright, bye. Alright, let's keep we definitely want to keep our primary weapon out. And I think we'll probably Well we we're gonna need to use this torch, so let's Let's go ahead and use it. Alright. Into the well.
A nice typo on night, by the way, Jasper. Good job there. Night is a hard word to spell. This is a bit creepy. Like a tall person. They're like stick figures. Like a, it looks like a child drew it. Like a balloon coming out of it with like a weird creepy face on it. Alright, so we already collected those mushrooms. There's something living down here, and I think it's probably going to try and kill us. As most things that live underground in this game do. Actually, just generally, most things in this game try and kill us. Uh, so, hopefully we don't die, because we only have one more life. And if we die, if we lose that life, we have to start completely over again. Though, now that we know exactly where to go and how to get things, the game does not take very long to progress. With clever t tipios, I appreciate your appreciation. <laughs> it's late for me too, but I'm too lazy turning out the screen to let the stream be on. <laughs> you know what? I actually do that all the time. I fall asleep to people's streams probably on a regular basis. And, it, and honestly, the best way to support people that you follow and enjoy watching... Okay, that is really menacing. So I baby falling asleep soon. <laughs> That's fine. Fall asleep. Yeah, the best way to support people anyway is to just simply, like, watch them add a viewer count. So, hell. I love hanging out with you guys and I love talking to, to you. But... If you don't want to talk, just hang out and enjoy the cast. Okay, there is blood, baby, <laughs> baby, ma ba baby, Mabby, some <laughs> same thing. All right, do you guys hear that footsteps? Those footsteps? That footsteps. We are going to die. This is it, chat. This is where we die. Ah! Terrifying. Woo. Oh. My heart is beating so fast right now. Okay. So, we didn't die. We did set ourselves on fire, however, which was awful. We have an unburned doll. This is the second one we found. The first one was burned. We're going to take the old meat. Uh, we're going to put back on our vest. Luckily, so far, there has been nothing in the game. So Baby is a Mabby and Mabby is a Baby. Yes, that sounds about right. I think that sounds about right. Luckily, so far in the game, everything is one-shot by... the... Uh, Molotov Cocktail. So, it's a pretty good way to stay alive, we found. Oh, while we are standing here, oh shit, we can't make another bandage until we left all our stuff at, at, back at the place. Back at our home! That's not good. But, the other reason we didn't die there is because we actually have armor now. Which definitely saved us. There are so many poisonous mushrooms in here, this is fantastic. When we get back, we'll probably have enough. Wow, look at all these drawings. When we get back, we'll probably have enough to upgrade another perk. If you hear that squelching, squishing sound, that is the mushrooms. Wait, where are these? I also... There, there are a couple spots where you can use a shovel to dig into things, but we, we found one of the spots, but when we came back, it was completely gone. Which is 
Weird. Alright, where is that? Where are those mushrooms? There are definitely mushrooms right around here. Maybe these are bugged out mushrooms? Oh yeah, I think they might be bugged out. Oh! We stepped on them. We stepped on the mushrooms. They weren't bugged out. They were just down there. Okay. Here's some more. Where are they? That's weird. Yeah, they're definitely over here. Huh. Strange. Okay. Onward. That was a huge mistake to leave all of our canvas there. Oh shit. This is interesting looking. Return to the surface. Where are we returning to the surface? Oh, we're in the house! I knew, I knew it. I knew this is where that was gonna come out. All right. Let's get our hitting board out. And... You canoe it too? Good, I'm glad to hear it. All right, oh, we got a bunch of rubber duckies. So I think this might be where that creepy boy's mother lives. And also, who we are assuming is the wolf's, um, the wolf's wife, I think, maybe? Okay. Uh, we'll take the eggs for now. And we also think it's the chicken, the crazy chicken lady's daughter. Which is being supported currently by the fact that we're finding a shit ton of chicken eggs in the house. A dog tag. Ma cool Kai. Okay. Or I don't know. Ma cool Kai. Alright. And somehow the doctor also ties into this story. But we're not sure how yet. Even more eggs. I'll take all the eggs. We can throw them away later, but we can also eat them for endurance. Ah! That is the key. Perfect. Um, that will lead into the house with the creepy lady who, we, who's, who the boy claims is beautiful. And we can either take it to the boy, and, or I think we can take it to the wolf. And I think we're going to take it to the wolf because... Um, Generally, we've just been following his storyline so far. So that means that that old dude lives here. The dude they were talking about um, has the second key. Take it to the wolf. Yeah, I, I agree, Jasper. I think that's what we're going to do. I agree. He wants to eat her? No, I don't think he wants to eat her. I think it's actually his child. We could also go check it out for ourselves, which is something that seems promising. <laughs> I kind of want to go in there myself, because it makes, they're making some really creepy sounds in there. Oh, gosh. I keep forgetting we can't use our map around here. Or in this area, at least. Alright, so we should be near the chicken lady's house. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that there's a lot of variation in 
in the different paths you can take to complete this game. Like, for instance, the wolf, you can just hit him. We found so many lo maps. This is like the third map we found with the location of the pig shed on it. Kind of funny, actually. So listen to the weird sounds that are going on in the, behind this door. And there's like clothing all over the ground and like... She's totally a zombie. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're gonna walk back around here because I think there were some spots where there was cloth. Um... That we can pick up if we need to. Actually, let's eat an egg real quick. Might as well, right? I don't think we can- I actually don't think that we can cook these. I think they have to be the red eggs for us to cook them. Let's go ahead and equip our, uh, Molotov cocktail. However, right, we can cook this large piece of old meat. By the way, if you do want to play this game and you're not sure if you want to buy it, um, the developers of this game uploaded, uploaded it to Pirate Bay with a um, thing saying, like, if you don't have enough money or don't want to buy the game, download it um, free of charge. And if you like the game enough, um, try and support us by either buying it at a later date or supporting some of our later games. So you could potentially get a free game if you would like. I normally, I normally would never, um, you know, advocate for downloading an, a copy of a game off of Pirate Bay, but the developers publicized it and said that they want people to if they can't afford the game, uh, or if they w were on the fence about trying it out and weren't sure, sure if they wanted to buy it. So, um, yeah, if that's, if that's the case with you, you should do it. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a, I know, isn't that interesting? You can they um they said there's two reasons they did it. One, it's a fairly cheap game, um, and they felt bad because some people couldn't afford it and that wanted to play it. They were contacting them, and two, well, there's actually three reasons. The third, the second reason is um that they the developers. They think that, well, I mean, it's a commonly held belief in the gaming industry that these third-party key-selling websites that sell them for, like, half the price and they have illegally downloaded um, or, or um, stolen keys to games are killing the industry like because the developers aren't getting paid even though people are actually buying the game. And so they would prefer that people actually got the free download and then support that side industry. That's the second reason. And I think the third reason is that just, like, the developers are cool people, apparently. It sounds like. They're really freaking cool people. And in my opinion, since this game is only, like, I think... I think I got it for, like, 13, and it's, like, 15 in general. Like, without... When it's not on sale. This game is way... Like, it is worth at least a 30... Even a $60 game, potentially, in my opinion. Um, so... They probably will make money from, do from doing it, right? It'll probably... People will download the game for free, enjoy it, be like, wow, these are really cool developers, and then go buy the game because they want to support them. Or at least recognize the name Acid Wizard Studios in the future and say, wow, that's probably a pretty cool game. So I don't know. It was a pretty smart move. But yeah, it's really cool. I agree, you can. Okay. I lost focus. Where, where are we going? 